to Brittany Marie Corps. This will be the last time I will refer to you as that name. The day has finally come for you to become my wife. We have talked about this day for so long, and it's here. This isn't going to be easy, there will be ups and downs, but spending it with you is worth every second of it. You mean so much to me, Sheldon Andrew. You're the last thing I want to lose. You're the very first thing I think about when I wake up and the very last thing before I go to bed. I cannot wait to see where this life will take us. We have grown so much together and have created such a wonderful life together. I'm excited to see where this new life will take us, but as long as I'm with you, I will be happy. I hope you like your gifts and I can't wait to see you in just a couple hours. I love you so much to the moon and back. Love your wife. I pray that our marriage and our faith will grow stronger and stronger as the years go on. Just know you are my world and I love you more than I can write or say. I can't wait to hear Brittany Marie Riggin. Love your husband, Sheldon. Marriage is an honorable estate instituted by God in the time of creation for the well-being of mankind. It is safeguarded by the laws of Moses, affirmed by the words of the prophets, and hallowed by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Marriage is therefore not to be entered into by any lightly, but reverently, soberly, and in the fear of God. Let the Apostle Paul be your teacher who wrote, Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. The home you establish will endure through life's every change. Sheldon and Brittany, I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that covenant and love alone will avail as the foundation of a happy and enduring home. I remember when Sheldon told me he was going to propose to Brittany, I thought, this boy is crazy. He came over to the house and he sat down with mom and dad. I actually thought, well, it's about damn time. 
So we started to tear up, and he asked my parents for their blessing to marry Brittany. Then we all cried. But when he started to tear up, that's when I knew I couldn't ask for anyone better for my sister. We never thought Sheldon would actually find a woman that would marry him. Here we are, and I'm so blessed that I had the opportunity to be the best man. I wouldn't trade our friendship for anything. It's crazy how fast time flies, but this isn't about the past. This is about the future. So with that being said, I guess that means it's time to pass the handlebars on to you, Brent. I'm letting you take the will of this crazy dude I call brother. bit of a confession to make that I was not Sheldon's biggest fan in the beginning and nothing made me more mad than I would be trying to sleep and he'd leave the house <laughs> because he had the loudest vehicles all the time he'd get a new one it'd be louder than the last one Sheldon, you got one hell of a wife to love unconditionally, lift you when you're down, to stand by your side through thick and thin, build and grow a wonderful life together. For you, Brittany, well, all I can say is hide the fireball. <laughs>